Hey, welcome everyone to the second video of this ROS navigation stack series. In this video, we are going to add various sensor plugins to our URDF file which we made in our previous video. So before starting, I would like to tell you, if you are watching this video for the very first time, watch out my previous video as every video is continuation of this previous one. So before starting, make sure you subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon as I bring such an interesting video every week. So let's get started. So in this video, we are going to add various sensor plugins to our URDF file package which we created in our previous video. So let's start by making a catkin workspace. So I'll open a terminal and I'll make a directory name as catkin workspace. I'll go into that port directory. I'll make a directory name as source. I'll do catkin make. So here we have created our workspace. So now the second thing is to copy our differential drive robot description package into our workspace. I have copied that package from the Fusion 360 to my Ubuntu operating system. I'll then copy this to my workspace in my source directory of my workspace. So now here I have copied my package. So I'll do catkin make. So here we have created our package. So now let's go into our package and then understand the structure of our package. So in our package, we have three directories, which is launch, mesh and URDF. In URDF, we have the universal robot description format of our differential drive robot. In that we have four files, which is differential drive robot.gazebo differential drive robot dot trans differential drive robot dot chakro and material dot chakro in these two files in these four files we have to make changes in two files which is differential drive robot dot gazebo and differential drive robot dot chakro so let's open differential drive robot dot chakro file so in this we have various link name the and the join names so here the first change we have to make is in the join name rev1 axis xyz which is we have to convert from this minus 1 to 1 this is a bug in urdf plugin of fusion 360 so we have to convert from minus 1 to 1 so let's save it so now let's open differential drive robot.gazebo and then make changes into this actually in this file differential drive robot.gazebo we add various sensor plugins so for adding that sensor plugin we need to go to our browser we need to search for gazebo plugins then on the first link and now here you can see various plugins various sensor plugins so let's find a differential drive robot plugin. let's go down so here is our differential drive robot plugin. So now let's copy this and paste it into our differential drive robot.gazebo file. Below the closing gazebo tag, we have to print, paste it here. So first change we have to make here is making the update rate as 10. So left joint, name of left joint, default to left joint. What is our name of left joint? The name we will get from differential drive robot.chakro. So here the name for our left joint is actually left joint means left wheel is rev2 and for right wheel is rev1. So for this I'll make, I'll just delete this and I'll write rev2 and for right joint is rev1. It is case sensitive. Rev one. So now the wheel separation. In my case, the wheel separation is one twenty mm, which is zero point one two meter. The diameter for my wheels is hundred mm, which is zero point one m meter. The wheel acceleration. You don't need to change wheel acceleration, wheel torque. The command topic. It should be command velocity. Odometry topic. Odom odometry frame as odom base footprint so now base footprint are here is base link so 
so then odometry source you don't need to change anything here you need to save this now let's add the lidar plugin so let's go into same file there and copy the gpu laser the below part here let's copy it and paste it below the differential drive plugin so i have pasted it here now let's do same changes in here as we are not going to use gpu laser we are going to use simple laser so now here they have told that replace the sensor type to sensor type ray so i'll copy this and i'll replace this line with the copied line and then replace the plugin name with this so here is our plugin name we have to replace it with this now gazebo reference so what is our reference our reference is lidar underscore one i'll copy this you will get this reference in differential drive robot.shakro then i'll change it from this to lidar underscore one our update rate should be 20 keep it as as less as possible so not as less as possible but keep it as decent rate or you if you keep this rate very high you will increase your computation the min angle will be minus 3.14 and max angle will be 3.14 which is 360 degree sample should be 720 the min range should be 0 0.5 and max range should be 0. Point, should be 20 you can give this min range and max range according to the specification of your actual lidar sensor in the frame name also you have to give the frame name as lidar underscore one which is the same as reference let's save this let's save both of this and now let's go into a package so now here let's go into our launch file and let's open this and check what actually there is in gazebo.launch file so in gazebo.launch file first they have passed on the shakro file of our differential drive robot then here the argument name is post value is true here you have to do as false so whenever you start the simulation actually by default the simulation is in pause mode so for that by default we have to make the simulation as true so these are all the changes you have to make we'll save this and now what we'll do we'll just one second do catkin make So here we have completed our building of our package. Now let's launch this. Let's first source our workspace. And then launch. Let's ROS launch. Differential drive robot description. Gazebo dot launch. Press enter. So now here we have launched but we are not able to see our laser so let's check what's the issue just do it here topic list so here we cannot see we can see our laser topic but we cannot see our laser means our laser is working but we cannot visualize that thing so for that let's go into our differential drive robot.gazebo and in visualize let's do it as true so we can visualize our lidar so let's close this for a second let's once again launch it yeah so now here you can see the lidar rays i'll just put an obstacle in between 
so now you can see the laser obstructed by this obstacle now here we have added our laser plugin now let's check whether our differential drive plugin works as expected so what i'll do i'll go to terminal and i'll type here ross run teleop twist keyboard and teleop twist keyboard dot py let's enter it so now let's try to move our robot around so here you can see we can move our robot so now one thing you can note down here that the rope the wheels are slipping so for that thing the parameter you have to change is in differential drive robot dot gazebo you have to change from the mu1 mu2 parameters to high and make it as 15000 and for left wheel also and make it as 15000 and i'll just reduce the friction for cluster i'll save this and again i'll run it and now as we have visualized our lidar sensor we don't need that thing to visualize it again so i'll make it as false let's run it once again let's run the teleop twist keyboard node also so now you can see here our robot is not slipping anymore So this was all about adding gazebo plugins to our URDF file and in the next video we are going to make a world for this so stay tuned for the next video until then stay creative with me technofetch